Hello, this is Hedia Borzu from SirianToots.com. In this tutorial, I'm going to uh, teach you how to put a 3D model in a real environment like this one. And even this one, we are going to work on this project actually. I did that the Phoenix one previously. So let's get it started. First of all, uh, double click here to import all of your tracking data that you just exported from PF track. Wait a few seconds. Double click here again and import your video and import it. So double click here and these are all my tracking data. Uh, the bigger the squares are, the closer the squares uh, are to the camera. So uh, drag down your movie here and I'm going to put a 3D model somewhere around here so I should select this point so to do that uh, turn this layer off and select this point and find it from here uh, rename it and call it 01 and put it above all these uh, null trackers now i am going to hide everything except this null tracker zero one null tracker and uh, my footage so let me show you So put it here, select all these layers all and hold down shift and click here and hit shy button and even shy for the composition. Now we have to uh, turn this layer on and solo these two layers. So. Uh, now I am going to create a new solid and apply my uh, third party uh, plugin on it, Element 3D. So call it E3D and apply Element 3D on it. Now go to Scene Setup and import one of these 3D models, for example, this one and hit OK now this is my uh, 3d model i'm going to put it here and let it to stick to the floor as you see it is not uh it uh, doesn't stick to the floor i have to do something to let it stick so to do that i have to go to element 3d group one particle replicator and uh, i have to copy uh, the position x y and z of my null tracker to here to position x y for position x i have to copy this and paste it here for position y i have to do the same and for position z i have to put it here and paste it here so now my 3d model is sticks so I have to uh, scale it up, so go to the particle lock and particle size and scale it up to check everything uh, properly. And yes, it uh, sticks to the floor. So uh, I'm not going to work uh, on this model, I'm going to put it here only to test it and later on I'm going to import my a 3d model 3d robot actually so uh, first of all i'm going to work on a shadow casting go to scene setup and i create a plane here and put it on group two like this and scale it up so this is my plane. I have to apply all of these parameters to my plane either. So copy the position of X 
and go to element 3D, group 2, particle replicator, and paste it. And copy this one and paste it and copy the Z parameter and paste it. Let me check everything. Yes, it sticks to the floor. And now I have to create a new light here. Create a spotlight. Um, pardon. New light. And create a spotlight. And I'm going to increase my shadow darkness. Now go to the custom view here and hit C a couple of times and let me see everything so for the spotlight go to transform and point of interest and let the point of interest to be uh, over this 3D model. And also I have to change the position of this light. And yes. Now I have to go back to my active camera and go to element 3D and render setting and turn on my shadow and ambient occlusion. Now I have to check everything again from custom view to see whether there is any shadow or not and yes there is. So it's time to do something. Now I have to uh, put my 3D robot here. So to do that go to scene setup again and go to file import 3D sequ sequence and select the first obj file that I uh, previously exported with obj sequence exported in maya so select this one and hit open and uh hit this icon to get rid of a statue and hit ok and go back to the active camera and my uh, 3d robot is somewhere here i have to scale it up so go to particle look in group one and scale it up And for group two, bring the uh, position Y a little bit down now. Where is my 3D robot? Let me check everything. Oh, I should put it exactly in group one. And then hit OK. And there it is. So, uh, this is my floor. And this is my 3D robot. I should make sure the floor and robot uh, are not intersecting. So to do that, I have to go to group two and uh, bring the position of the Y down. Bring it down and let me check. Oh, oops. So go to preview and then uh, bring it down. And let me check everything. Now they are intersecting in here. So bring it a little bit down there and check everything. And let me see. Yes, they are intersecting. Again, bring it a little bit down and check everything. Even they are intersecting in here. So I think it's enough and I have to go to scene setup to get rid of this plane and only I have the shadow and ambient occlusion. So go to scene setup, plane, 
and the material of the plane select this wheel icon here and hit a matte shadow and hit ok and there we go go to spotlight again and decrease the shadow darkness because uh, there is not so much light here the light uh, the shadow is like this and we have to create a shadow like this so bring it down and hit ok go to element 3d group one particle look and rotate it uh particle rotation and rotate it in y axis and let me check everything and as you see they are intersecting so go to group two and bring it down even downer and uh, let me see yes so go to group one again and uh, increase the size of the robot and go to particle replicator and put it uh, here and even here move it in y-axis And even in Z, let me see whether they are intersecting or not. And yes, I should uh, pull it up. So, I think uh, this project has been finished, but I have to work on rendering so go to render setting and uh, increase in ambient occlusion increase the distribution and gamma and even contrast and even radius so set the render mode to full render and increase the in intensity so it's time to apply curves uh, plugin on it on my element 3d and let me see bring the red color down bring this one up and even this one and create a new adjustment layer and put it above all the layers and apply curves on it and increase the contrast here and bring this one down this one a little bit up and this one up and let me see everything And that's all right. It's a matter of your taste. You should play with all of these parameters and uh, that's it. And maybe sometimes you should bring the plane a little bit down or upper or scale your robots up and down. It depends on your taste. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching this video.